Hey everyone. So yeah, it, again, it's been a while. Uh, <laughs> I can explain. So, when I was moving, I couldn't make a backload of videos, like I said, and then we ended up sh moving my computer a little early so it'd be here when I got here. I've been living in Arizona for a month, and um, you know, uh, nothing really has happened. Sorry, my lips are chapped, and me just <laughs> All right. But yeah, so I'm going to be back to making videos, at least trying to. You know, like, uh, now I'm in Arizona, you know, I Gotta find a job, I gotta, you know, pair myself for college, gotta move into my new apartment soon. Uh, in about a month, right now I'm just staying at my sister's place. Um, it's my bed. Kinda see it right there. It's, uh, it's my bed. But today we will be unboxing this package. Uh, this is a box from none other than Matthew De La Cruz. He's a Filipino cosplayer prop maker. Uh, he's based in the Philippines, obviously. And he's the one who designed all the nice face shells that T-Jack uses, also some of the emblems. Uh, he also does commission suits, so like uh, sometimes if he's available, he'll be able, if you ask him, he'll be able to make you a suit. Uh, it's not a guarantee because he is just one guy and he really wants to make high quality work. So not always are you gonna be able to get a commission from him, a commission of suit from him, but do, he absolutely knocked it out of the park with the quality of, you know, cosplaying and prop making abilities he has. So yeah, I ordered this last week it came here uh, i'm surprised how fast it got here honestly i got the ultimate styled face shell so it's based off the ultimate comics and this was just kind of an impulse buy obviously this is going to be for my custom spider-man cosplay and i think it worked great with the mask that design i have for it and yeah i'm just really excited to get this thing open so i don't have an exacto knife so i'm just gonna have to use this thing or maybe not i guess it's gonna have to be this way. So it looks like in the inside. It's all came in one little thing. Oh, okay. So he added some foam padding. That's really nice of him. I didn't know he did that. And here is the 3D printed face shell. He 3D prints these, he doesn't cast them or anything. It's just really sturdy, like plastic he prints them in. And wow, I this is top-notch stuff, and oh, fits my face perfectly. Look at that, I am very impressed and very happy. Oh yeah, by the way, you may have noticed I've gotten a haircut. <laughs> Forgot to mention that. Wow, look at this, this is absolutely gorgeous and amazing. So happy. Now obviously since it's 3D printed, there are little like divots and scratches, especially on the top, you know, but I can easily just sand that down and uh, yeah, so now we got this. So, all right, so here we got like a mixed thing of like the lenses and the magnets and the mesh. Oh, the lens frames. Oh, wow. let's just look at these lens frames right now. Woo! They look so good. And again, there's a little bit of like 3D printed little messes, but again, we can easily fix that. I'm just really surprised of how actually clean the top part is. It's nice and smooth. Right now it's focusing on my face, but it's like so nice and smooth. And then obviously we have the many magnets, apparently this, <laughs> this face shell needs. And uh, here, oh, thank God, it's already painted white. So yeah, he basically just sends you mesh too. You can put it on here and it's breathable. And this is what the lens is basically gonna look like. Wow, that extraordinary. Okay, so here's what the face shell is basically gonna look like when it's all done and dandy, I guess I can say. I'm really impressed with the top notch quality that he sells, and I really shouldn't have expected less because he's just an amazing prop maker and cosplayer in general. Wow, I am so happy with this. It's so comfortable and just fits perfectly on my head. Like I don't even need a strap or anything to keep it on. And now obviously he 3D prints in the little holes that the magnets go into and also in the lenses. So that's even better. Wow, yeah. I'm excited. God. So yeah, I'm excited to use this as my 
uh, you know, my face shelf for my new custom spray my cosplay. Uh, thank you, Matthew, for sending me these and you know ha selling them again because I am very happy with what you have done and I'm really excited to use it for multiple cosplays, not just my custom suit. And also, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of more of an update on what else is happening with the suit. As you, some of you know, I'm getting a textured blue fabric from Aaron Alexandro. He's still having a little bit of trouble with shipping things uh, from his country because of Corona, you know, it's still around people. Because of Corona, we uh, they're not allowing shipments to be sent out or maybe even in, I'm not sure. So it is going to be a little bit before we actually, um, before he's able to send them out and then I get it. So it's gonna be a long process for this suit, longer than expected and would like to have. And also I'm switching fabrics for the black fabric. Instead of going with the clear dot black spandex like I was going to, I'm gonna be switching over to a Joann's fabric, like I think they call it scuba fabric. That's like stretchy and it has like a nice hex pattern on it. I think that'll work contrast great with the squares and the circles and then it's just black hex. So yeah guys, that's basically it. I will have a better update video on what's going on with my life and everything and probably get back into making better high quality videos when I move into my new apartment and get everything settled because right now it's just kind of that weird period of like I just moved and I don't have any friends and I don't have a job and I don't have school so it's just kind of like what the fuck am I doing? Everything will go back to normal very soon. If you guys enjoyed the video, uh, like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.